I'm going to teach you how to change the apron in your rolling machine. Now, if you bought an Elements or Raw 70 or 79 millimeter rolling machine, it comes with an extra apron. You see, when you bought it, hopefully you didn't throw it away and you saved this because we want our rolling machines to last for a very, very long time. Even though they're made out of hemp plastic, the goal still is ultimate sustainability. So make it last, man. Now, how do you change it? It's not that easy because we build them to, to be very sturdy. So look on one side. You see the notch right there? One side has a notch and one side does not have a notch. Basically, we're going to use the side of the notch to pop these wheels. You see these wheels? They will pop out. Now, hopefully you can see on this camera what I'm talking about. Yep. So what we're going to do is it takes a little bit of strength. You kind of bend the plastic towards you a little bit and pop out the wheel. Pop out wheel one, do the same thing for the other one, and pop out wheel two. Now we take the whole assembly out. Now the only thing I'm going to tell you to do is just, it's good if you take it out like this because that way you can put it right back in the way you had it. Slide out your wheels, take your new apron, <laughs> and put the wheels back in. All right, now when you're putting it back together in here, go back, kind of undo the way you just did it. So again, the side with the notches, we go to that side second. The side with no notches, this is where we put them back in first. So first I'm going to put this one, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. This goes in that hole there. Yep. Cool. And this one goes in the open space over here. It doesn't matter if it goes up or down, just get it in there. <laughs> All right, and now we're going to do the, just again, reverse. We have that little spot there. You see I went through that little notch and dropped it right back into its place. Over here, again, same thing. I'll, I'll undo it just to show you again. Look, we put it in the hole on one side, and then over here, again, the notch, Stretch the plastic out a little bit just to get it to go drop in, and voila, the apron is changed and you are ready to go. Now that is easy-ish. Now here's the hard one. You ready? The adjustable rolling machine. Honestly, this is a little bit more difficult, and I don't think anyone's ever shown you how to do it before, so I have to be the one. Do I have an extra apron? Yes, I do. Here's my extra apron. Here's what we're going to do. Just like before, we'll start off by bending the plastic slightly and popping out the two wheels. Okay, we know that part already. But look. Now it's still stuck down here. What do we do? You have this extra piece here. This is what makes it adjustable to make it where you could roll fat or wide. We have to take that out as well. So now I'm going to take my little parts out, my two wheels. And now here we go. Now here's how you do it. It's a little bit of a nuance. I want to show you before I do it actually. Okay. On one side here we have this, you see how it's like this fin shaped thing? And if you look on the plastic, I better look on this side. You see Jeff? Yep. There's a spot for it to slide through. You turn it just a little bit, and there's its spot where it can slide through. Up, you see that right there, the hole? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to make it slide through there. On this side here, this is a little um, clamp side. So here's what we do. You line it up so that it's ready to go out through its little hole over here. Do we have it? Yep. And then push it down on a hard surface. Make sure it's lined up. And then we just push down on a hard surface and pop. You hear that noise? That means it released. Now I'll show you what I mean before I go any further. You see we pushed that little pin through the hole over here. So now the whole assembly here is ready to come out. Now it doesn't come fully out. What it does is it slides out to here where we leave it and now the apron comes out. Cool? Now the only thing to do is just remember, look I took it out and I lay it down like that because I want to make sure the new one goes back in exactly the way the old one was. Excuse me, let me open it back up. Told you it wasn't easy, but it's worth doing because <laughs> it's better than buying a new roller. Okay, so now I'm going to slide this. I keep wanting to do it without walking talk to the camera. <laughs> you slide it back through just like it was before. When we get down to the point over here, I'll, I'll pull up the apron so you can see what I'm doing again. We're going to line it back up with the hole, push it in the hole, and we could just kind of, if we, I mean, I could push it with my hand, but a cool little trick is if you kind of reverse what we did before, we push down and ta-da, there you go, pop through. Okay, now that part is attached. Now we're going to insert it in our wheels just like we did before. One wheel goes towards the front. Oh, hold on. I got to make it, you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so one wheel is going to go here towards the front. We'll put it in the hole. It doesn't matter if you do the front one or the back one first. It really doesn't matter. And again, we line it up with that notch over here on this side stretch the roller open a little bit, and there it is. That one's in. Back here, we're going to do the same thing we did before. Excuse me. Slide the pin through. 
I'm pulling the apron out just so you can see everything. I'm putting it in the hole right there. Okay. And now I go back over here, drop it in the notch. Right there's our little notch hole. Stretch the roller open a little bit, and there it is. She's back, she's got a new apron, and she's ready to roll. <laughs> now, I'm going to answer a question before you ask it. What if you lost your apron? Do I make extra aprons? Yes, I made them. I sent, I had a whole display of them. I had everything for stores, and the stores would not buy them because they're not that popular. So I tried and tried and tried for years, and after sitting on these aprons for four or five years, eventually I gave them away to all the stores. In the future, though, we're going to have very soon, hopefully by the time you see this, we're going to have authorized online retailers, and I'm going to force those guys to carry our aprons so you can get extra aprons from them. There you go. Rock on.